Okay, quick comeback here. I started looking at it and realized this chassis was just too small for what I'm trying to fit in here. This was the old chassis. Um, so I'm going to do it into this. I went and ordered a bigger chassis. So it's been a little bit of time since we last looked at that. So I'll show you both, of course, just so you see. But now you can see a little bit more clearly. I've got plenty of room. This will be roughly where the um, board fits. I'll have the first preamp tube, second preamp tube, phase inverter, and then I'll have my four power tubes. This will be because this board didn't have enough for the dual um, output, I'm going to use that, and then this is also the large watt resistor. These will be the filter nodes. This is the primary filter pow power filtering nodes, but then it goes through this guy, if I remember, then into these, and they'll pop off to different points on this end of this part. I'll have the input. I only need one jack here, but I just got the old one. I haven't desoldered it yet. And then not all of these are probably the right pots, but I just grabbed four pot or five pots because I need volume, treble, middle, base, and a... Uh, Remember, I think it's a presence control. Um, but I have gotten, uh, I don't remember if I showed this on video, but I did wire up my two main filter powers with the two, uh, the dropping resistors that help make sure, not dropping resistors, these are to drain the power off of the caps and also to make sure that they kind of load evenly, I believe, as well. It just kind of controls the flow of uh, electricity through there. Um, they bring inputs, I'll be bringing in the inputs into this side through these. Uh, for the rectification and then into these two and then the output comes here and the ground there so that will be put in somewhere in here as well and then we've got everything else laid out pretty well back on the back you can't see this easily but i'm gonna have the input the fuse and the output sorry the power input the output jack for the speaker and then a selector between the two uh outputs uh values that we have here we have uh blue and green green is 8 ohm blue is 16 ohm so that's it. Well, uh, I'm going to come back here in a little bit after I've kind of laid, uh, done the actual drilling and setting up of the chassis, and I'll show that to you. And then, uh, and as you know, in the previous videos, we've got the board populated and ready to drop in. As soon as I get to that point, we'll do that as well. So we'll be, I'll show you back here in a bit. All right, I made some progress today. I've got, um, I got the board the holes drilled. I've got this, you know, the output transformer, and I got the dr holes drilled for the power transformer. I still need to drill, drill a couple holes for the uh, wires to come in, but uh, much more progress done. And I also can kind of see right here as well. I think these will probably fit best right here, but we'll see. I might also do something more like along the lines of this uh, and then this, because this is going to be a spot for this power. Tr uh, this power resistor will come in and connect into the um, power rail over here after it goes through these guys. So it might be better to have these guys closer to the power side. So I might just move that back here. I don't know, we'll see. But I'm still kind of thinking that through. But uh, yeah, the, tr the uh, train wreck, Liverpool, is coming alive. So uh, I will have all the power tubes and output tubes and everything, and the preamp tubes on this side. And my, my pots will go on this side, power switch. And the light will be over on this side. And then we will have uh, our um, plug and fuse here, output here, you know, I showed that to you already. So. It's coming along. That's another day's work. What I what I had to put into it, and uh, I'll show you the next steps. All right. So I'm going to kind of handhold this because my shop has no power. So I'm trying to put as much lights as I can. I did something blew the power out of my shop, but so as you can see, I now have all the tube sockets in. I accidentally drilled an extra socket there at the top. You can see that was kind of dumb of me, but I've got my. Uh, a large filter cap there. I will have a couple of power caps on a power input from those red ones over here, kind of in this corner over here. There's my output transformer. My power transfer comes comes right up in there. Power and lamp. There's a fuse on the left end where the power comes in. And we have our tube sockets all the way down there. And you can kind of see the drilled holes where I have it ready to accept in my uh, board, it'll go right down here. And then I have already wired in my main input over to here. And I have I had just some extra copper wire laying around from some of the electrical work I'm doing, which obviously has broken my power down here, so I have to fix that. But this copper wire I thought would be nice for a grounding bus. So I just wrapped a couple pieces of just regular, my normal wire I use around there to kind of join two pieces together and soldered those up nice and tight. Connected into the ground of the input jack and we're good to go across so we will show you more as we go but that's where i'm at now it's coming along so I'll keep you posted all right yet again i'm gonna try and hold this still but i have made some good progress i've got uh connected in my main power filtering and the rectifying rectifier right there 
then that connects over to my to two things. One of them, the, what comes up underneath here, goes into the um, secondary side directly of the output transformer, and the other one jumps over to this power resistor, the one point, I think it's 1.5k power resistor, or maybe it was just 1k, but then that will jumper straight to the board once I drop it in here. Um, and then there's my filter cap for the other ones. The ground is at the bottom and the other at the top. And as you can see also, I've got a lot of these uh, still as there, but I now have the two shielded wire connected together and into the first input tube. And then we'll have the second tube and the uh, phase inverter and of course the power tubes. So it's coming along. I've wired up all the power. I think I had that, I do have my, right there is my, um, oh, what's it called? The surge suppression thing, uh, barrister, there you go, it's a MOV. And that comes over to the, so we have input power, comes over and connects to the fuse. That jumps over and across and up to the switch. The switch comes out and hooks into the one half of the mob, the other half goes to the white wire, and those connect off to the main power transformer over there on that corner. So it's getting a, a lot further along now. All I have to do is, this is the um, one half of the cathode, as I think I mentioned if you watched earlier, I have the cathodes, they split them into two separate halves on this amp, so I will be able to, um, I've got that half there, the other half is already on the board, I just didn't have enough room on the original board, so I've had to use the smaller board here, but I could also use that to mount the resistor here as well, so I know that's in a bit of a weird situation, but that was the easiest way I could mount it in a nice solid place, so, alright, we'll show you more as I get there. Thanks guys.